The history of medical debt is basically a history of the changing answer to the following question. When the patient can't pay the bill, who foots it? By the 1980s, there was a push, particularly by the Reagan administration and by Congress at the time, to rein those costs in. A 1983 law passed under Reagan changed the way Medicare reimbursed doctors and hospitals. This made it so hospitals received a fixed rate for care rather than getting to bill the government whatever they wanted. If they spent below the fixed rate, they made a profit. Otherwise, they operated at a loss. About 10 percent of hospitals closed in a period during the 1980s, in part due to those declining reimbursements. It was a real period of struggle. Hospitals really were hard up to pay their bills. Some of them turned to much more aggressive medical debt collection and became much less forgiving of patients in debt. They would charge patients, and instead of allowing for lenient payment plans or discounted care, they instead said, please put it on your credit card. 